Hi guys, I ended up getting the Galaxy Note 10.1 and I will be reviewing the program Layer Paint for it. I've been using the S Note to sketch and uh, take notes, but this one actually worked out really well for drawing, so I'm going to show you how it works. I have it disabled so my fingers don't interfere when I'm drawing, so everything I have to use the pen. So let's paint the background a color because right now it's transparent. This program allows layers, as you can see there. Make sure we change the color back. And we can choose one of the pens here. Pen, fade in, fade out, pencil, airbrush, watercolor, and edge. I usually sketch in pencil. You control the size of it right here. Pick a size that you want. Make sure you're drawing on the other layer. The cool thing about this program is that it saves it in a Photoshop file, but you can also export it out as a flattened image, so it would be a JPEG. You can zoom in with your fingers. This program actually does a really nice job for sketching. If you want to use this program, uh, you can use layers and everything like S Note does not allow that, so this one gives you the option if you wanted to do that. S Note still does a really good job for what it is, but for the ones that may want a little bit more, get layer paint. Program's pretty cheap. I think it's about $2.99. You'd have to go check. The neat thing is, is there's a button on this pen and you can toggle it back and forth so it turns into an eraser and you press it again and then you click and it turns back into the pen because the pen that comes with this app I mean with this uh, device does not have an eraser but you can use one with an eraser You can draw in both uh, landscape mode and portrait mode. You just change it. You flip it. Just pick whatever works best for you. Can't say I really notice a whole lot of lag. Maybe if I'm trying to draw really, really fast, but apart from that, nope. It does a really, really nice job. You can move this around as well. I'll show you. you go to your move tool you can move it up you have an eyedropper in here an eraser a line a fill you got a couple of options inside this area go back to your brush
And then you can save it up here. And it'll tell you when it's saved. And then you can export it. If you want to export your image. And it'll tell you where it went. Uh, for me it saves it onto the SD card. You can change the size of these. Right now I have it at a pretty large size. You can make it smaller or bigger. It all depends on you. But you can pull it, put your entire hand on the picture if the pen is around and it won't interfere. I just use my fingers to zoom in and out. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. Thank you for watching.